A drop 10 of golden tickets is officially here. And of course, today we're gonna grade all of them. That's what we do here on the channel. Um, today's video is gonna be a little bit different. I tried bringing in the grading system that I had earlier this year for gameplays into this series as well. So let me know what you guys think about this. Um, of course, adding the stars and then turning into a grade. Um, so let me know what you guys think. Just trying to get more accurate grades for these videos. And I kind of want to get it figured out before Madden 25 in college football. So uh, make sure you hit that sure definitely hit that like button if you guys do enjoy this idea. Um, and maybe, you know, but uh, yeah, before we get started, if you are part of the 59% of people who watch the videos that are not subscribed, let's change that right now. Head down there, hit the subscribe button, turn on those notifications, of course. Any support is appreciated in the month of June when you're a Madden creator. Um, so I, of course, appreciate you watching today's video. But let's get into it today. So we have Calais Campbell. Uh, we're gonna talk about him first. So um, I probably won't pop up the you know the uh, the grade right away. But uh, Calais got yeah, really good speed, really good stats across the board. Um, six foot eight, three hundred, just really good pass rush stats. And Calais does get perfect traits, meaning that his animations will be virtually perfect as a pass rusher. Can play in, you know at defensive tackle, can play on the edge. As he, as he does also have 90 zone coverage if you do want to drop him out in the coverage. Um, is he going to be like a user? No, but he is, I mean, he is six foot eight, 300. So, I mean, if you accidentally do get stuck on him, maybe the dude can make a play for you. And then for the abilities on Calais, I don't really think an X factor is necessary to run on him. And I will we'll show you why in a second, why I think that. Um, but yeah, I don't think running an X factor really makes much sense. Use it on another player on your defense. Um, but and the reason for that is zero AP unstoppable force. He's another zero AP unstoppable force as an ability guy. I um, mean, there's, there's 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 just a ton of value in that. There really is being able to, you know, use your X factor somewhere else, maybe on a card that needs it more. I um, mean, just kind of have Calais out there, you know, playing in the middle or playing on the outside. And yeah, whoever made this card did give him work artist, and that is why I'll pop the grade up right now. I did give him four stars for ability because I feel like as an edge rusher. He does get unstoppable force, but doesn't get that little extra edge threat elite or that double or nothing or that, you know, that extra pass rush ability. He does not get it. And also he does lack a secure tackler. Enforcer Supreme is great on safeties and linebackers. It doesn't make sense to have on a guy who's playing in the middle. You're not going to, like, you rarely ever will get a hit stick with Glance Campbell. And honestly, if you use this card more traditionally, I wouldn't even run these abilities on him. I would just go zero AP unstoppable force and... Probably inside stuff on the card to stuff those inside runs or no outsiders, depending on where you play them. That's probably what I would do. That is honestly what I would do right there on Calais Campbell. And of course, those are secondaries as well. Um, but Calais Campbell, we're going to give him 19 stars. And, and that leaves him at an A grade. And next up, we have college legend Vince Young. Um, me, me personally, I never really liked Vince Young cards. I feel like he's the only QB that's consistently done dirty with not only release, but also making him like a one-dimensional scrambling card i think he's like constantly disrespected as just like a scrambler um he really is and this card is no different i mean the stats and the like his stats and his build they're both five star it's an easy five star level like stats amazing build six foot five 230 that's what you want to run on a, on a, on a i mean running back slash qb i'll uh, be able to have that really good juke animation that is really good on a qb like really good okay really good the stats and the build are both gonna be five stars. The abilities, this is where it kind of falls apart for our boy Vince here. Um, as yes, he is just like Taysom Hill was, you are going to have to pay full price for set feet lead or pass lead elite. And if you were playing this game right now, you know you need one of these two abilities to even pass the ball in this game. So we're looking at at minimum a six slash seven AP setup on Vince Young. If you choose not to use the last slot, it could be five A, it could be five AP. Um, and there is no X factor that boosts velocity when it comes to throwing the football. So um, I would probably, if, I don't know where you want to commit with this card. If you want to, if you want to make them like a do it all, it's going to be a little bit more expensive, a little bit more difficult for you to do that. If you want to make them a full scrambler though, I mean, angry runs for one, that's one AP. I would probably go seven feet five, I guess. So we're already at six AP and then you know with his release you're probably going to want to go gunslinger and then how are you not going to use truds if you're going to use him as a runner so truds gunslinger we're still at 6 ap um and then evasive or escape artist for one you know escape artist it does make a slight difference it's not big enough in my opinion to run it over some other things um would i run it over evasive honestly i don't think i i don't think i would if you're really going scrambler i don't think i would but either way i think the meta at qb in the, like there is a meta at qb in this game and it's guys that can do both at a high level. I mean, we, we, we have a bunch of guys that can do that. Warren Moon, 
Of course, Tom Brady, even the guy like you know, Andrew Luck can move, up, move well enough and then still has that mobile capability. And of course, Lamar Jackson's cards are always just so good. So uh, Vince Young, as far as the grade, I'm going to give him a 14 stars out of 20. That's going to put him at a C minus. C minus for Vince Young um, on the golden ticket scale. Um, unfortunately, again, great build, great stats, but it just misses the layup at the end right there. And here are the team camps, by the way, for those who are curious. And next up, we got Travis Kelsey in this one. Hey, I mean, this car, he's good. I wish he was just a little bit lighter so he'd have the good juke animation. So uh, Travis Kelsey, we have four stars on physical. Uh, and there's two reasons why I took away one point on the physical. And that's because he's a big body tight end. So the KOs are going to affect him a lot um, in certain scenarios, as, as we know how this game plays. And also the weight. He's going to have a worse juke animation. So I, I did deduct one from the build on Travis Kelsey. Um, and then, of course, stats are going to be five stars. These stats are amazing. Good strength. Uh, you guys see it all there short route running mid route running even 99 run block on this card um of course can be like a receiver if you if you you know if you prefer big body receivers or need someone to fill that big body role at receiver for you travis kelsey can definitely be that guy um but of course he's a golden ticket so he's gonna have charge x factors again i don't think he needs an x factor though i would save it on him wouldn't even run it at all on him i mean if you want i guess go rack on him to save an AP, it could, and, and obviously it's not going to be on the whole game, but he does have the ability to get Yakim up as an ability and Vanguard as an ability. So to me, Travis Kelsey, you know, will the stars add him up to, to an A+, plus? no, um, they will not, because even for animations, I'm going to knock him down for the same reason, he has a bad Yuki animation, that's obviously a big deal, um, so, you know... <laughs> He's like an 18 out of 20 star player, but I feel like the ability setup that he's able to get lifts him to an A+. I really feel that way, A, A+, on this card. Um, as Vanguard and Yakim up, whether you play him at tight end or wherever you play him, wide receiver, full, it doesn't matter. He, he's he's like, because of those two abilities, he becomes pretty much unstoppable. Um, then you can also go route tech as well, or if you want to use him as an extra blocker, he does get secure protector as well, which is really good. So I, I like the flexibility of this card. I love the, the broken X factors on this card, so... Again, even though Travis Kelsey is an 18 out of 20 star player, um, and we're, that would put him at what, like an A minus A, uh, I'm going to go A, A plus for Travis Kelsey uh, here today. I think this card is, you know, the, the, the X, you, you put the two of the best added facts on the same card as an ability, he's going to be good. Okay, that's just how that works. And finally, we have the man, Randy Moss, right outside linebacker. Not the cornerback, Randy, but we got right outside linebacker, Randy Moss. The card art is beautiful. Let's just say that right now. I got the R tattoo popping, looking beautiful. And I'm very excited for tattoos in Madden 25, by the way. Um, but 99 speed, 99 acceleration. So this is a card we have to grade. We, we, we can't do one grade for this card. We have to grade him as a edge rusher and uh, you know, like a 6-1 drop guy, rushes sometimes, and also and also just like a pure user. We have to grade him in both ways. So as far as the pass rush goes, you know, you guys see the power move and finesse move. They're both under 90. That is not great. Um, at all i do want to see if he is up on the database yet just so we can uh maybe see okay he should be up on the database i want to see his traits um he does have two or three traits which is not bad at all i also just want to do a one quick glance at vince young's release see if they changed it um and no they have not so um yeah randy moss is a pass rusher just not not great mainly because of the stats right and also if we head down here yeah it's mainly just because of the power move and finesse move and two or three trades um and he is lighter which does make a difference 210 off the edge going against guys that are 300 plus he's gonna get bullied out there as it drops as, as a drop six one guy on the edge or as a pass rusher this is the same grade um so even for the abilities he doesn't get any pass rush abilities whatsoever um so as far as randy as a pass rusher goes he's a 13 out of 20 star player leaving him at d tier or D, a D grade, not D tier, D, you know, a D grade, which is very bad. So just, if you do get this card, do not use him as an edge rusher, okay? That's the moral of today's story. Um, as a user, though, this is where it flips a lot for Randy because you don't need these pass rush stats. All you need is to be able to tackle, animate, be, have a good build with good speed and good abilities, and Randy does all that stuff. He's 604, 210, 99 speed, 99 acceleration. You toss a lurk artist on the man. He's animating like everyone else. He's very good after the catch as well, which does make a difference. Has 99 impact block, which which does matter when it comes to stopping the run. Good impact block and 99 turns as well, um, which you, he, he, again, the weight could play a factor here, but it won't play as big as a part as him as an edge rusher because you're interacting with these 300, you know, these 300 plus pound linemen every single play. 
um, in the run game, it's not every single play. And he's got a good build. He'll be able to dive tackle very well. Um, and then uh, even 99 block shed. You know, it, it's all there for him being a user. Even man and zone coverage. You know, even if you're not going to use the card, he's still good out there. And 88 tackling is a red flag on this card, but it is it is simply covered up by Tackle Supreme, which I would recommend using if you're going to use the card um, co to cover up that low tackling stat. Tackle Supreme is a must-have, pretty much. Um, and then I would probably go Lurker Artist in mid zone, and then I would probably go with uh, Reinforcement on the card. Um, as you, if you run the mid zone and reinforcement combo, it is super broken. It feels like you have zone KOs everywhere, pretty much. So I, I probably wouldn't really worry about Enforcer Supreme and Avalanche. But if you're good with it, run it. Um, I, I've had some success with it. I feel like the most success I have with it is on my safeties. Um, like you know, a guy like Larry Wilson's been doing great for me with it. Um, on my user, it hasn't been as great, not, especially on my lineman. It really hasn't done anything. But um, I would rather go with you know. Cause I feel like if you can't run. I guess, I guess you could just run that, right? And then just pay for Lurk Artist, which is still going to be 1 AP, right? Lurk Artist is 1 AP no matter what. So I guess you could just do that if you really wanted to. And not That's actually not a bad call, honestly. I don't hate that decision at whatsoever. 2 AP. But 2 AP on the user. I mean, you probably, if you have room, go for it, you know? You could do that. But either way, 20 stars, A plus for Randy Moss as a user. Um, a plus as a user. D as a pass rusher. Um, and that is all today's golden tickets. Let me know what you guys think. Who's too high? Who's too low? Drop a comment down below. Which card are you going to be adding to today's squad or to your squad today? Um, <laughs> and uh, of course, hit the subscribe button. If you did the end of the video, hit that like button. And as always, I will see you boys in the next one.